Uh, we'll now go to Mr. Johns for two and a half minutes or less, please. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Minister, again for being here today. Minister, yesterday we talked about the Cohen Commission, and you talked about that your government is moving on all of the recommendations of the Cohen Commission. Recommendation number 19 falls within this COVID window. It says on September 30th, 2020, the Minister of Fisheries and Oceans should prohibit net pen salmon farming in the Discovery Islands, fish health zone, uh, subzone 3-2, unless he or she is satisfied that such farms pose at most a minimal risk of serious harm to the health of migrating Fraser River sockeye salmon. And the Minister's decision should minimize, uh, summarize the information re relied on and include detailed reasons. The decision should be published on the Department of Fisheries and Oceans website. There's sea louse, uh, six sea louse sea. done on the average migrating salmon right now. So I'm concerned, Minister, are, what decision are you gonna be making? And will you be following through with this recommendation on the date of September 20th, uh, September 30th? Uh, can I turn that one to the deputy, please? Yep, we're busy compiling risk assessments right now uh, in order to support that particular announcement. Uh, we're not ready to make it yet, but that's certainly the date that we're working for, working to. Okay, it's three and a half months out, so it's concerning uh, the people, of course, of the Broughton. Uh, also, in terms of the dual role, a campaign promise in, in 2015, the government said it would restore its role to protect wild salmon and no longer be the agent for uh, the aquaculture industry. Can the minister comment on where the government's at on this promise that's five years old? Uh, thank you, Mr. Johns. As I said yesterday, I'm committed to working with the provinces and, and with Indigenous communities to move forward responsibly to transition to uh, transition open net pet pen farming in Brit on coastal British Columbia. Um, a change like this requires cooperation. It requires consultation. Uh, those are all things that we're okay. working to do right now. Um, and, you know, I mean, it's not something that's just going to happen overnight, but well, we are been working five years. That. So that's, that's not, sorry, that's I'm longer than overnight. And, and minister, can you comment back to Mr. Fass's question about sport fishers and recreation? They're waiting for some additional help. The, the rollout, the current government rollout is not enough. They've asked for support, whether it's even marking fish, uh, you know, uh, having uh, some support on the, the salmon stamp. Will you honour any of the requests from the, the sports sector and make sure that they can get through the winter so that next year they can fish and maybe extending EI for them like you are for the commercial fleet? Can you make sure that you're following through with them to support them in this difficult time? A quick answer, uh, please. I'm sorry, but recreational fishers would not qualify for EI. EI is for commercial uh, enterprises, not recreational. Agreed. However, the uh, people who support the industry, people, um, for example, uh, you know, the, the guides, the, 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 the people who work within the industry, they are eligible for things like the CERB. They're eligible for the business They account. need more. They need extra help. Uh, you're 